Hello everyone, today we will learn how to create new leads in Zoho CRM from new Calendly events. Now Calendly is used to create events where people or invitee will register themselves and Zoho CRM is a customer relationship management software. So if you want that whenever you create a new event in Calendly and a person in or an invitee actually registers themselves, then a lead should be created in Zoho for them. But this cannot happen on its own because both of these applications do not have a direct connection between them. But what if I tell you we can automate this process with the help of Pabli Connect. We will learn to create such an integration where our trigger will be an event created in Calendly and our action will be a lead created in Zoho CRM. Let us learn how to do it. So let us learn that whenever a new event is created in Calendly and then that event gets a new invitee, how can you use that information of that invitee to create a lead in your Zoho CRM? We will be doing this with the help of Pabli and you can see this is the landing page of Pabli and on the right hand side you have two options sign up for free and sign in because I am already have an account I will click on sign in and if you don't have an existing account you have to click on sign up for free click on sign in and then you will be taken to this login page of Pabli click on sign in with Google and I will be directly logged in into Pabli here I can see the five applications that are provided to you so today we are going to use Pabli Connect to create an automation between Calendly and Zoho CRM. When you click on access now, you will be taken to the dashboard of Pabli Connect. On the right side, you can see a big blue button where it's written create workflow. Click on the button and give a suitable name to your workflow. I'm going to name it as Create leads in Zoho from event in my Calendly. Click on create. And then a blank workflow will be created for you. Now in this blank workflow, you can see two steps or two boxes, one with trigger written over it and other with action written over it. Now what is this trigger and action? A trigger is when this happens, which means that an event will take place in the chosen application that is called your trigger application. And then when that event takes place, this workflow will move forward in the direction of the action application and the assigned action will be performed over here. So our trigger application will be Calendly. Select your application and then choose the trigger event. Now you will see here four options of the trigger event that what is the event that will do the work of a trigger that will create a trigger in your application. So we are going to choose invitee created and with user where it's written bracket user and read what's given below triggers the webhook for the subscribed events that belong to the specific user. Like you can see in my Calendly over here, I have many events created. I'm going to use this pottery workshop over here. Okay, so for that, I will click on invitee created by user. I am the user of my account and I have created this event. Okay, so I will choose that option. Now we will click on connect. Make sure that you've opened Calendly and Zoho both in separate tabs over here. So it will be easier for Pabli Connect to establish a connection with both of these applications. Now click on connect. Click on add new connection. Connect with Calendly and it will be automatically detected by Pabli Connect. And therefore the authorization is successful. Which means that now Calendly and Pabli Connect are connected. And it has automatically detected the, this URL given over here, organization URL and the username is admin. Now you have to click on save and send test request. Now when you click on save and send test request, make sure that you go back to your my Calendly and then choose the event and you yourself create an invitee over here. So let us open our event and then share it. Copy this link and paste it in a new tab. So now you will be having this form that you need to fill because you are going to be an invitee. So click on save and send test request. When it starts waiting for a response, go back and then choose your date. Let's say that I'm going to attend this pottery workshop on 11th. Okay, I'll choose my slot that's 12 p.m. and I'll confirm it. Now I will enter my personal details over here. First name, last name, email address, and my contact number. Schedule event and it's confirmed. Now this page shows that I have registered successfully for this event. Now I'll go back to Pabli Connect to check that I've received a response. You can see this is the response over here. The URL and all is here. The email address is here. The first and last name separate and the name together is also present over here. 
the phone number the contact number we can call it and all the other information that is captured when you and the kind of workshop that was about the event also is recorded over here now if we have received this response which means that our trigger step has been completed successfully so you can carefully close this window because you don't need this for now we need to assign an action application and action event to our workflow so what is going to be the destination of all this information all this information is going to be transfer to zoho so select zoho don't get confused you are going to use zoho crm for this why zoho crm because you're going to create a lead and crm is a customer relationship management software okay and the event is going to be create a lead if you don't find which event you want to work upon you can just type it in the given place so write create lead it will automatically come click on create lead and then connect your zoho with your fably connect now click on add new connection connect with zoho now it will ask you to enter a domain now you have to choose from the given list over here which domain belongs to your zoho account so for that we'll go back to our zoho crm and look at the url on the top it's written crm.zoho.com okay so this part is the domain of any url any given url to you okay so if this is the domain you'll go back and choose the domain which matches to your domain which is this so you can just copy it from here only and paste it because these are the most common domains in every account that is found click on save and then your accounts will be connected by just clicking on accept and the authorization is successful so now the button that was connect earlier now it says connected which means both the accounts have been connected successfully now what you're going to do you have to enter some details to fill the information required to create a lead in zoho now for that you don't need to fill all the fields over here because you are creating this lead with the help of the information you are going to take from your calendly invitee that is created so it doesn't mean that you have to fill all the fields but remember that you have to make sure that you don't leave this required section empty okay so we will just start from the very beginning that is the company name now there was no as such company name given over there but there was the campaign or the workshop name so you can enter your workshop name over here because that is the detail of the workshop that's going to take place but how are you going to enter about the pottery workshop you are going to map that data from the trigger application and what is mapping mapping is actually creating a pathway from the trigger to the action application which means that you are going to use the information retrieved through the capturing of the response and how are you going to transfer it over there whenever you have to fill an empty field click on the field and then it will ask you to insert data from the previous step so what is the previous step the calendly and then they will give you a drop down menu which you will open and see that it includes all the list of responses that you received in your first trigger step so you are going to choose it from here only now if you know it's pottery you just type half of the word and you'll get the answer over here pottery workshop okay now the owner you need not change they have detected on their own first name you will map so again what was the first name it was ria so choose first name and last name make sure you don't confuse yourself with the full name and the first and last name choose it from here it was there a designation no there was an email so you can just write at the rate i do this very often just write at the rate to find the email phone number was there so just map the phone number this was somewhat the phone number yes so we have mapped the phone number as well now what else was required required says annual revenue now we were not talking about any kind of annual revenue over here i don't need it in my case so i'm putting it as zero because it is required to be filled with any entity if you are doing some case in which you need to fill the annual revenue you can enter the value that it's required for you now look for any other required place there is no other required place in description you can add the venue of the place that was actually in the responses so you can just write over here where is it going to take place it was community hall so in description you can write community hall and just make sure that you write venue before it put a colon and space so then it will appear as venue space community hall okay so there is nothing else left to be filled in these fields and you just click on save and send test request and wait for response from the action application now the very first thing in this response you will see is success which means that our workflow till now has worked properly now look for any errors or any step there is no error 
even it says record added and success in the end as well which means that there is no error in our workflow so the first thing you need to do is save your workflow now we will just go back to our zoho leads and check for the lead that is just now added just refresh your zoho account and then you will get the new lead in the very first place see ria sain company name email address and mobile number these were the basic details that we entered now no more fields are added in your zoho crm so you can just filter or you can just add more fields over here in your zoho only you can do this setting separately but these were the basic details required so these are the leads generated so all the people who are going to fill your form about the pottery workshop you will get all the list of the people who have registered themselves in your zoho crm as a new lead so which means that our workflow was successfully complete so let us do a quick recap of what we did in this video our trigger application was calendly so we used the event as the invitee created by the user only because the form or the pottery workshop event was created by me as a user then our action was zoho crm we created a lead in it we mapped the basic information and then we clicked on save and send test request we received this response and in our zoho we were able to find that yes a lead has been generated whenever a new form will be filled about that specific event so this was the whole workflow i hope this helped not just these applications but you can integrate many other applications using pabli connect if you have any issue regarding pabli you can email us at support@pabli.com you can ask your queries at forum.pabli.com and if you have any doubts regarding our pricing then you can connect us through this given website if you found this video helpful in any way then make sure to share this with your friends and colleagues to make their life easier by creating automations we will meet in the next video till then do not forget to like our video and subscribe to our channel thank you